big cluster of cells. Do you build it up one by one? Hello scientists! Welcome back to Draw Biomed, the tutorial channel that helps you to create graphical abstract for your research. So, uh, I received a question asking me how to draw granular shapes. So, uh, what is granular shapes for? It can be the base for structures like liposome or a dermal plastoderm. So how do you create this big cluster of cells? Do you build it up one by one? Because uh, some of them are smaller, especially the one in the back, and then some of them are bigger, and then they have these uh, very regular distortion of shapes that goes along with the perspective. Um, that just seems a lot of work. But actually, you can create it really quickly with the wrap tool. So uh, I will show you how to do that in this tutorial. So, um, without further ado, let's get to draw Biomed. To draw a granular sphere like this, we need to use a tool called the Envelope Distort. Um, but first, uh, we need to create an array of this hexagon shape cell. So let's come here to grab your hexagon tool. It is in the icon of your rectangle tool, uh, and then you can switch to polygon tool here and we can draw a hexagon from it. Let's spin it by 30 degrees so uh, the top side will be pointing upward. And I will zoom in a little bit to round the angle. So it will give it an organic uh, style. And then we can start to duplicate it. Okay, that's one, and I will group it, then I can start to make an array out of it. Okay, I have one more. All right. Let's draw a circle on top of it. So this will be a reference for how our granular sphere will look like. I will give it a different color, uh, usually a contrasting color that uh, can that may allow you to really tell your cells from the reference apart. Okay, so I will uh, in, I will add one more row. Perhaps uh, yes, I will add one more row to uh, let the, the circle really cover it. Uh, what would happen is uh, the envelope distortion can pull all these cells into this circle. So before we start to distort the array, we need to make its shape uh, as close to our reference circle as possible. So first ungroup all of them, and then I will take these off. Then I'll put the reference to the back and uh, lock it. Then I'll group our array and, and make sure it aligns with our reference. So now we're ready to apply the envelope wrap. So let's go to object, envelope distortion, and then click on make the wrap. And uh, then you'll see um, our array is distorted by a confined a shape like a fan shape so that's the function of the envelope distortion they distort the shape along with the envelope so the kind of distortion that we want to use is the fish eye so fish eye it will enlarge the center and uh, then compress the peripherals so that can create the perspective of a granular sphere 
So um, then you can adjust how much of the distortion you want onto your array. Um, I think I will use 40%. And for horizontal and vertical distortion, we don't need that here because it will uh, tilt the entire image. And that's not what we want for making granular sphere. So once these are ready, uh, click on OK and um, you will apply the envelope wrap here. Um, but now uh, you can see it is not exactly a uh, sphere. So uh, we need to do some minor adjustment of our envelope. So if you use your direct selection tool to select the envelope the object, then you'll see there's a mesh that will, and these meshes, and within this mesh, you will see these anchor points. With handles so you can actually move these anchor points to adjust the distortion within the envelope so we will start to move these anchor points around to wrap our uh, array into a sphere so let's start with the top let's select all these four anchor points and then move them down And then let's do that on the other side. This will need to be done on all the sides. I need to move these anchor points until it touches the outline of your reference circle. Okay, and now we can start to move the handles. Okay, I have not done it here, so I will do it that way. Okay, so, and now we can start to move the handles. So that's manipulate the handle until it uh, until it's. Uh, line is aligned with your circle reference. Okay, and for the four corners, let's move it in. And then manipulate the handle into aligning with the circle. So you see, it looks a little bit awkward because the uh, peripheral of the granular sphere is not actually wrapping towards the back. Um, so we need to do some adjustments here. At this third handle on the side, if you pull it upward, then you'll see it will start to uh, bring up your uh, array and uh, and then really fold it in a sense visually so uh, that's how we can start to fill in these gaps 
of the granular sphere. So re I'll, then I'll really change this uh, black back reference into the same color of our granular sphere. And then put it at the back. Yeah, so that's how you create a granular sphere in Adobe Illustrator. And I hope this can help you with your graphical abstract. And uh, welcome to subscribe to Jobalmet for more tutorials. And if you have any questions, welcome to leave a comment below to uh, let me know. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.